if I had a choice, I would come back female. Wow. Ah, women they enjoy. You know, see Bob Risky. Men they change. Women are grooving. Like, trust me, trust me. Women will just be dead. Men will just be chasing you. Ah, please, oh, why do men they chase me? <laughs> I like the way I'm feeling now. No go use your reggae, spoil my blues and now. After that, nobody knows what they said in that song. <laughs> After that, nobody knows what they talk. <laughs> Trust me. Hmm, how long have I been into comedy? Okay, so unprofessionally, I will say all my life, actually unprofessionally. Hello, please, am I on to Nepa? Yeah, good morning. Rain is falling and there's still light. I don't know if it's a mistake from your end. It has never been done before, please. Yes, because I'm scared. Rain is falling, there's still light. Please, can you take it, please? Please, please. Please, take it, take it. Thank you. All right. All right. Because since I was in primary school, I've always been that kid that will be will be punishing every time for making noise, always trying to, you know, crack his, my mates off and everything. But professionally, I would say, um, seven years now professionally as in take make us laugh collect money seven years you are dead the way a rich man dies is glorious it's beautiful first of all the doctor don't tell him say mr robert um uh, unfortunately um i have good news and bad news he goes say okay let me hear the bad news all right uh you have cancer all right you know say okay what's the good news you have seven months to live Okay, so you prepare yourself, organize yourself, so a rich man's death is organized. Damn! You go on follow him, they the coffin, man. That's the rich man, they die. They know they're gonna die, so they probably had their bad that day, they got new clothes, new shoes. This is not so rich man, they die. Special thing I can do, okay, uh, for now, one of them. Okay, so personally, I believe comedians are like um, comedians are like doctors, right? Um, the jokes we give out heal people. The jokes we give out make people feel better about themselves, right? So um, I don't expect everyone to like my medicine. I don't expect everyone to like my jokes. So definitely, people will not like some of your stuff. People will like some of your stuff. But if you look at it from the comedian's angle, a joke is a joke, right? I'm definitely sure Lupita would watch my jokes and even laugh. I'm definitely sure people, you know, people would always say different things. I'm very sure, but like, if you think about it, it's just acting, right? I mean, a lot of actors do a lot of things in movies, but they were paid to do that, right? It doesn't make robbing in a movie right. It doesn't make raping right. But some people get paid to act like that in a movie. So when you see my skit, I'm on stage. When you see my skit, I'm, it's me doing my thing. You know, it's me, it's my platform, so you don't have to take me serious. Anyone takes me serious, ah, you can't enjoy me. Ah, you can't enjoy me, you can't enjoy me. Seeing my videos go far, seeing people in different countries relate to my comedy. But one of the greatest moments for me locally um, was when I performed in uh, 2017, when I, was, I performed uh, at the Lagos State um, Comedy Festival, where about 50 comedians up on stage, Governor was there, and it was, it was a big one for me. Content is king, bro. Like, I even tell people that are not even trying to be content creators. He create this content to do this kit, you know. So, I feel um, everyone is unique. No one, you won't see two people that are the same. So people are unique. So everyone is, you know, succeeding in their own unique way. I'm known for my crying and my facial expressions. So some, some other person might be known for his punchlines, the way he dresses, the way he talks. So I, I, I feel we're all unique and we can all eat. <laughs> Actually. This period is not being easy. Like, what I used to hear yam was before, is not what yam is today. What rice used to be before, is not what, you know. So today, these days, when we look at the market list, we start thinking, hmm, do I really need meat? Customer, welcome. Uh -huh. Nice one. You always get the best fish. You know? Ah, na so, na na my work. Oh, yeah, yeah, this one, how much? That one at 10,000, sir. 10,000 for fish? Yes, sir. Now everything don't go up. Oh, yeah, forget the head. Uh, body and tail of fish, how much? 9,000, sir. 9,000 for body and tail? 
Oh guy, why you they shout? If you know the price, why you no go start your own yourself? I think saying that the normal five hundred naira fish we they buy before. If you want, if you have five hundred, you can. I get waiting. I fish for you. For yeah, what can five hundred? Okay. You go sell fish eye. Eye your fish. Yes. Oh yeah, bring them. I go feed boil them, maybe. Boil and fry them, spice them. I don't know what you want to do now. You want buy fish. Okay, you know, give me nylon. For Percy, we pay 500. Nylon, like 1000, sir. You know what? I go just worry about. Then, see you next time, customer. My yeah. customer. Yeah. Eh? Bye bye. The inflation right now is serious. And, you know, like, the price of things have gone up. So, when you go to a wedding and you see that they gave you one fish and one chicken, huh? Who am I sharing it with? <laughs> you know, so you have to be sure. I didn't want to eat anybody's food on that day. So yeah, it was inspired by the current situation of the country right now. Funny enough, um, I grew up with just my mom. So it was just, you know, it was just I and my mom and everything. So my mom always, my mom always wanted me to do what I wanted to do actually. But family members, you know, you must read something. So I read electrical engineering. Throughout my stay in that school self, and our jokes are the crack from Monday level to my final year. I was making people laugh throughout and everything. You know, my mom just wanted me to be an engineer. Like, I mean, you must study something. Now, she didn't know comedy could actually be like, you know, a lifestyle like this and a, you know, a career pathway for me like this. And trust me, like, a lot of my classmates I went to school with, they are CV in my email. You know, so I'm still yet to use the YDX in life. <laughs> if not comedy, uh, that's a very hard one, actually, because I think I would have sang. And I came here to Channel's TV, rocking in a Chanel shirt. Aww. And I lie, you. <laughs> it's just, now that's made the thing rhyme. <laughs> because the person who is so the thing is my tailor, eh? Yeah. Nigeria, Canada. Um, even Canada, I'll be surprised that I said Nigeria. Canada. Nigerian jellof. I've not had Ghana jellof. Let me stay on one side. Till I have Ghana jellof. We see the video. We see the video. It's a very tough one, but I love two of them. I beg. <laughs> <laughs> the last celebrity I texted, uh, I think it has to be Small Doctor. I was like, oh, Small D, how far? Uh, <laughs> that's right. <why. laughs> no, that's what, that's what we call ourselves, Small D, you know. <laughs>